Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're gonna continue off the destroy um, after time script, but instead of destroying something after time, we're gonna destroy it while entering a trigger. So, it's pretty simple. Uh, we just have to add a trigger and delete the time uh, function that we had in our script, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like, like um, right now. So, we walk through trigger and um, the object that we want to destroy gets destroyed, a particle effect um, gets instantiated, and uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. So, um, in the past script that I've made, destroy after time, I just modified it, it's pretty simple, I'll have the script up on the, on the GitHub site as well, which you can find in the description. And uh, it's pretty simple actually, um, so here we have object to destroy, the object you want to destroy, public game object and the effect that we want to instantiate so when we enter the trigger um, it checks if the collider if the thing that collided with the triggers tag player if it is um, we instantiate an effect um, at object to destroy dot transform dot position and object to destroy dot transform dot rotation. So basically, we're because object to destroy is actually a game object and not transform. We have to type object to destroy dot transform because that says that we're accessing the the game object's transform and then position, rotation, scale, whatever. So basically, this just spawns the effect at the rotation of the game object and uh, the position of the game object. If you want the effect to be spawned somewhere else, instead of object to destroy, you can make a um, new public transform, make it an empty game object in your scene, place it wherever you want, and instead of object to destroy dot transform dot position, you just type the object or the transform position dot the position that you want to do dot position if you understood what I said. So after that, we just destroy the game object. So basically, all you have to do is make a cube. Uh, let me just move it a bit back. So I disable the mesh render so because we, we don't want to see the trigger. You walk through it, and uh, you add the script as well. So object to destroy, we're destroying Luffy, and the the effect is the this Big Bang effect, which I have, um, which has an audio effect on it. So let me show you. Um, so it has an audio effect on it, and it's play on awake. So this is what it looks like. Uh, for example, you could like make the explosion a bit more up, so you can see, so you see like the whole bulb, I guess. Um, I got all these um, pr um, particles from the asset store. It's called the Lamentals. You can search it up. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a pretty simple thing. Um, in a future video, I'm thinking of doing, uh, for example, um, because I've created the player health and everything. For example, when you walk through, when you walk um, like on a minefield or something, um, it like blows up and it depletes your health a lot or it kills you instantly or whatever. But I'll see about that. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, um, like and leave me a comment if you have any questions and yeah i'll see you next time bye